Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Bowman here at BW1.com on behalf of Chris Prillo at YouTube.com slash LockerNome. We're going to check out InfraRecorder. InfraRecorder is a great, lightweight, easy to use, and simple CD and DVD burning software suite. It's a free alternative to some of the paid alternatives out there such as Nero and um, Roxio, which have become much more bloated these days. InfraRecorder is a very simple program to use and gives you all the same tools and functionality that you'll be looking for. So let's check it out. When you first open up InfraRecorder, you get this nice little quick menu here, and you have six options to choose from. You can choose from burning a data disc, CD or DVD, audio disc, video disc. You can write an image. You're basically burning an ISO to a disc. You can copy from disc to disc. You can read a disc, which basically means it'll take an already burnt disc and copy it down to your hard drive on your computer and create an ISO file. So for this project here, we're just going to create a data disc and we're going to create a CD. Once you've clicked on that, which shows your options here, you get a real simple interface, a very familiar interface. You, you've seen a similar interface in Nero and Roxio, so it's really simple to use. You, you're going to become real comfortable when using it. All you have to do is kind of just drag and drop your content down, what you want to have here, and all you have to do is you know, organize it the way you want to. You can add folders and such like that. But let's say you're sort of in the middle of the project and you're realizing, wait a minute, I need more space. Uh, CD's not going to work for this. So what you can actually do in the middle of the project is right-click here at the bottom, and you can actually change the project. So you can go from burning a CD to burning a DVD, from burning a single layer DVD to a dual layer DVD and such. So you can have that simple flexibility right there to change the product pro project as you're going along. Once you've kind of decided you have all your files, have it all set and you're ready to burn, all you have to do is click up at this icon here, burn this current compilation to a physical compact disk, click on that and it brings up the burn menu here. And you have a list of um, in-depth options here. You can burn on the fly, you can verify disk after reading. You can eject the disk after writing, you can do some simulation, you have some extra advanced options over here such as overburning, and you can choose which drive you want to burn it to if you have multiple drives in your system, and you can choose the number of copies you want to make, and obviously if I had a disk in there, it would, um, this button would be on gray, you click OK, and you go right in and it starts burning. So as you can see here, InfraRecorder has a lot of in-depth and um, key features to be looking for if you in a DVD burning suite, but it doesn't have all the extra bloat and gloat that some of those other programs have. This would be great for people that are used to using a CD and DVD burning suite and don't want to use some of the built-in tools that are just basically under Windows. They want to just click into that program and have all those same features tied into one program that's easy and simple to use, and InfraRecorder is for that. My only convenient info recorder right now is that it's not as updated. You don't get as many different um, updates as you would with some of the other CD and DVD burning software out there. But it's definitely something you want to try. It's compatible with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. And it's 32 and 64-bit versions of the software. So you want to make sure you check it out. Give it a shot. Just Google search info recorder or go to inforecorder.org. You can find the program there. So guys, remember to subscribe to the Locker Gnome's YouTube channel here at youtube.com slash Locker Gnome and also to check out his community of geeks, Talking Tech at geeks.perillo.com where you can also check out his live 24-hour video feed with a chat embedded inside of it. So for Chris Perillo of youtube.com slash Locker Gnome, this is Bowman from youtube.com slash bw1.com as bw1dotcom reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.